Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm back to show you what I actually did with my whole reviewing table project. In my previous DVD room update, I uh, was sort of, you know, talking about the, uh, the new reviewing table and that I had this crazy idea for what I was going to do about it. And, uh, well, now I've, uh, you know, sort of put on my carpenter's pants or whatever and actually finished this. So yeah, you might recall that I had like a small kind of square-like table with drawers in it, and I still have that. But now I've actually added some stuff and elements to make it look a little bit like this. So, um, this was all made from <laughs> various bits and pieces from IKEA furniture. First of all, this particular item is uh, something called uh, an Udden, Udden hutch, or Adden, if you want to <laughs> pronounce it in, in American or whatever. And this is basically not meant to be a table. This is something that comes delivered without... Uh, it doesn't have a top on it, so you could actually see into the top drawer. Because this is a piece of furniture that you're basically supposed to hang it underneath some kind of workbench that IKEA also sells. But I really wanted to use it as like a square table that I could, you know, store stuff in. actually took my old reviewing table, took the board from that, actually cut that in half, added it to the base. So. Uh, this particular piece right here, which is, you know, the big piece, that's actually half of my old reviewing table, which, you know, it's like a standard size, so it was the same uh, width as the uh, storage thingy here. Uh, and then underneath that, I actually have a second board, which I also got from Ikea, and that is just like a simple extra cabinet door. So I just bought those because I knew they were already the right size. Then came the big project. The thing that sparked this is that I always wanted to have, you know, it feels like I need a big reviewing table, like a regular desk like I had in the old room. But I also really wanted to have like sort of a cozy DVD room where I could have like a big old chair that I could sit in or just maybe I don't sit in it that much but you know I wanted it to look cozy so I figured I'm gonna try to find a proper chair not really sure what kind but that's basically what I want to have here in this little space here but so then the question was you know how do I solve this and the idea that I had in the a uh, previous video that I was really psyched about was I wanted to have a desk that actually transforms that, the, that you can actually sort of hide or just stash away and so what I did here is that I bought a IKEA door for a closet, a closet door uh, Pax I believe uh, Pax Ballstad, Ballstad and this is just a plain white door and I actually cut that in half so the piece that's right here goes this far that's part of that door and this piece here is actually also part of that very same door and you know I got good edges for this because I actually cut it and then I rotated both pieces so basically you have this really nice sort of finished edge here but when I cut it I put the cut ends uh, towards the wall so you can't really see it uh, and then obviously the other piece that's cut it's actually over on this side and if I sort of go in a little bit behind it you might be able to see that it's like a raw wood there. Uh, so anyway, then I bought this uh, like just a thin 16 centimeter wide um, board that you sort of use for... You basically use it uh, like in, in kitchens. And so if you look in here for instance in the kitchen, this is the kind of piece I'm talking about. It's just a thin uh, wooden board and as it happened 16 centimeters was everything that I needed for this specific space that I'm missing so uh, that's what I have here and uh, um, anyway so you might be wondering okay so why this particular design what do I do when I have the uh, the big boxes when I need the the big reviewing space. I just love the way this worked out. Yeah, you, you might have guessed it already, but I'm just gonna show you. When I need to review something big, this is what I'm gonna do. I might use this table for like small reviews for like diggy packs and whatnot, but when I need a big space for a big box set, just do this. How do you like this? Just one quick action, and I basically just fold up this board to make a really, really big desk out of it. And I can give you a sneak peek underneath here, because I basically have uh, my radiator, and that's basically what this table relies on. But it's a, it's a very well-mounted radiator, so I'm not, I don't have any fear of it falling down or whatever. And then I just bought a couple of these hinges. You can actually see them, two of these really, really uh, thick hinges uh, that sort of carry the entire weight of this board. And you know, granted, 
uh, I haven't really made a solution for how I'm gonna have the board upright you know I don't have any legs for it but I made just you know sort of a temporary solution where I'm just taking this tripod now to show you sort of what it looks like from afar and that's it so I'm guessing you know once I get a chair I'll just you know I just scoot that away for when I need to review big things and then when I'm not reviewing I can just you know fold the board back down again put the chair back and all of a sudden it's just a cozy room nice comfy chair so yeah that's what I did this was a really fun project I really enjoyed working on it and it worked out way better than I thought and you know there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with IKEA furniture like here in Sweden they also have like this sort of bargain bin kind of section where they just sell like loose pieces and you know uh, damaged furniture or whatever so you can easily find a, like you know good working material if you want to do a project like this I actually did buy uh, all of these items brand new at IKEA it's not terribly expensive I mean the expensive part was basically Udden which has these uh, really stable uh, big drawers which you know, I figured I would store DVDs in them, um, but for the moment I basically ended up storing a bunch of crap in there because I don't really <laughs> didn't have a space for it, so just ended up in there. It was basically uh, roughly like 85, 85 euro, I think it was. Uh, I don't know, that's pretty much, but it's still it's a very good furniture. Then as far as the uh, closet door, I think that was like nothing. I think it was like five euro or something. Insane price. I don't know if it was like in some kind of special price I, I have no idea and then the um, thin thin board uh, right at the back here uh, was a little bit more expensive that was somewhere around 20 25 euro which is an odd price you know because not a lot of material and that's basically everything I bought uh, I did make use of you know half of my old reviewing table just for height and I also if you look beneath <laughs> uh, beneath the table here you'll notice that I actually have helped myself to using uh, a couple of these um, extra shelf boards I don't know what you call the, these things which are for these slim shelves that I have so they're actually on top of the radiator because then the uh, the board is not you know directly on the radiator so I you know don't have to worry about it sort of becoming overheated or whatever not that that would be a problem but I'm guessing maybe the the wood could sort of get bent or distorted from time if it's it gets too warm I don't know I just figured you no know, I needed to to get it slightly higher anyway and it's just it's just insane that the you know the space is exactly what I needed like you know just that board it just makes it perfect so it sort of aligns and goes directly under the window pane here it's just I don't know it's just weird because as you can tell it actually have this piece of wood actually goes under the window pane and actually goes all the way uh, to the wall here so it basically disappears under the window pane and it's just I don't know it's you know it is a project that I've sort of you know been thinking about a lot and sort of put together and make it work uh, on paper a lot and sort of measuring like forever I'm really really happy with it I think it's gonna work well but anyway that's it for me today really hope you enjoyed this video and as usual hope to see you all next time